potentially requiring the FOMC to eventually raise rates rapidly, which could risk disrupting financial markets and pushing the economy into recession. Overall, I think the Fed is not going to surprise anytime soon. Justin Irvin and GDP advisors. German producer prices climbed at the fastest pace in nearly five years in January, well above market expectations. Germany manufacturing PMI and business climate are also released this week. So Justin, with the euro being the second weakest major currency so far this month, could this batch of data revive the currency? I don't think so. I mean, there's, there's so many reasons to think that the East, I mean, really what we're asking here is will a few uh, PMI reports and higher German producer prices cause the ECB to tighten policy, or even to just give a hint that they might be tightening policy in the future. And there's just, there's just no way that that's going to happen. Uh, overall, the Eurozone economy as a whole is still fairly weak. Um, you know, nominal GDP, which is what we and GDP advisors focus on, um, you know, that came in at 2.7% year over year um, in the Q3 reading. Real GDP is up 1.7%. Those are pretty weak numbers. And, uh, you know, there's so many uh, political movements around Europe right now that the, Euro, uh, the ECB is going to be aware of. And, you know, maybe it's not in their mission statement and they don't talk about it, but they don't want to see, you know, all of these, uh, you know, the Italian Five Star Movement, uh, Front National, uh, Builders. They don't want to help out these people, these basically anti Euro movements. Um, so they're not going to tighten policy. And if anything, uh, the bias is toward, you know, easier policy and softer language. So a few German PMIs, when Germany is, you know, under a third of the Eurozone, real output, I just, it's not going to be a big factor. And uh, I wouldn't expect the ECB to be doing anything that would boost the Euro, uh, at least until the summer. A midweek data release that could be of interest to sterling traders is the UK GDP growth rate. With 2017 set to be a more testing year for the UK economy and a more closely scrutinised year, are you expecting Wednesday's data release to add optimism to the 2017 economic outlook in the UK? I think so, yeah. I would say that my bias is toward a upward revision. So, you know, we already have a Q4 estimate, the first estimate for the UK GDP. And it was pretty good. Uh, again, we look at nominal GDP first, and that came in at uh, about 4% year over year. Real GDP was 2.2%. So those are, those are pretty good for the post-crisis UK economy. And they've been trending up um, since Brexit. Essentially, the uh, Bank of England has sort of tried to smooth over the disruption of Brexit by allowing the pound to weaken considerably. And that has boosted domestic demand in the UK. Um, and other other uh, data are coming in pretty you know pretty encouragingly. So December manufacturing report was solid, and the uh, construction report for December was solid. I think the retail sales, the latest number, is not great, but that's kind of a volatile series anyway. So I would say overall, yeah, the bias would be toward a, a better, you know, an, an upward revision to the uh, latest GDP figure. And the main focus of the week will be the FOMC meeting minutes. The most recent comments from the Fed officials were generally hawkish, with Fed Chair Janet Yellen flagging uncertainty over the U.S. fiscal policy. So can we expect this to be another volatile week for the U.S. dollar? Well, the dollar is always more volatile when the Fed is, when someone from the Fed is either speaking or when minutes are released. So yes, I, I mean, it's going to be more volatile than the typical week. But will it be more volatile than the typical week that has Fed minutes? I would say probably it'll be less volatile. Right now, the Fed, the Fed is not trying to do anything too exciting um, until they figure out what the Trump administration uh, will look like. Uh, that seems to be how they're playing it. I mean, when uh, when Yellen spoke um, recently, you know, I, I didn't listen to the, 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 her speaking, but I watched the market, and you know, the market went down as she started speaking, and then gradually uh, crept upward the more that she spoke. So, I mean, both of those could lead to currency volatility. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that overall, the Fed is going to try to not surprise anyone anytime soon. So, you know, we may have a little bit of uh, volatility in. Um, markets as the minutes are processed. But uh, I don't think it will be a particularly revealing release. Let's put it that way. 
Thank you, Justin. That's all from me. We'll be updating you as and when the news is released, so be sure to keep clicking back to Dukascopy TV.